So welcome back, Nana. Here and then uh, today we are going to see a tough topic now on the order management, uh, that is shipping execution. So we are going to begin that now actually. So before that, we will now have some glimpses of this. Now, fine. Many people are having a problem with the pricing. I will tell you. I will now tell you a simple method to uh, overcome that now. <clears throat> so here, if you go there, <clears throat> uh, I will now go to the order management, and then I go to the pricing now. I go to the pricing. <clears throat> the biggest issue is what. Your segment is coming, strategy is not coming. That is the biggest problem. And then you go to the manage pricing strategy assignments. Now. Find the assignments if you go there. You'll be having plenty of entries here now because there are so many people are working. For me, it's okay. Very simple now. I don't think there is all. So here uh, you go down. Uh, uh, there is one uh, what's called one president's column also is there in your instance now. I'll now go on and show you in your instance now. Either LPX. <clears throat> oh, no, before that. Uh... We have any web, web API for loading all these pricing Everything strategies? Everything is there. All these things are there. Right? You can talk to technical, fine, how to do using web API into the system. Fine. Everything is there. We can Sleep download, speed. right? Directly. We can start programming. We have to ask one guy on this. Now. What is the pricing administration? Now? And before doing this, I will not tell you one more thing. There is no need to go for a customer profiling now. Only if it's a special customer, then only you have to go on and give it. Now. Otherwise, don't touch this column at all. Fine. That means what the customer will be having a blank profile now. Fine. Go there. I will now go to ABC and then query for a customer now. I click on search now. So this one. He's now he's having this now. Fine. So some of the customers, if everything is blank, there is no need to create a profile at all. That means what the customer does not come under any profiling as such now. So you will have a blank profile, and then once when you have a blank profile, you go there, you create a segment for this now, and then associate that segment for a blank profile now. For a blank profile, you can associate it. That means what? The, all the regular customers will be coming under a blank profile. So you see, this is a blank now. Fine, one, two, three, four, five. So here, I now put a P01 strategy. Fine, somebody has put it over there. Fine. So this strategy is for a blank profile actually. So if you don't define the uh, what is called your customer profile at all, they come under a blank profile, and then it will be this will be the segment for them actually. Then create a strategy, and then associate the segment and strategy, and then that will be a generic price for all customers actually. Only special customers, we had to create a profile, remember. So if a customer is having a revenue potential as high or cost to service low, you want to give a special price, then you create a profile and then go for segment strategies, etc. etc. Otherwise, you use the segment for a blank profile. And one more problem here is what? If you go to the pricing strategy assignments, if you go on and see this now, you'll be having plenty here now. Fine. So many are there. So we can indirectly trigger it for your sales order, actually. If you go on and keep my customer on this now. I'll tell you about how to interact later. Now. <clears throat> so here they have added the president's column also over here now. Fine, that is also visible now. So if okay. your thing, if your uh, uh, what happens, your uh, segment strategy association is, is having a problem, you reduce it to nine. The president's nine. Fine, that or lower the priority, lower the president's, higher the priority, and that will automatically appear on your sales order. That is a trick actually. Fine, reduce the president's because they have added the president's column over here now. So reduce it, and then you'll now find the lower the president, higher the president. And then people are using the channel method, transaction type, etc., etc. That is all later exercises now. Right? That is all for the advanced concepts of uh, what happens, uh, making an uh, association of the strategy segment. But here, to begin with, you give only the segment and strategy association. Do not put anything on the channel method as well as transaction type. Please do it now. Right? And then people are making multiple things also. See, that are all very advanced. So don't try at this stage. First of all, do the, all the basic activities. Then afterwards, you try all the advanced ones. Now. No, no, sir. One second, one second. Yeah. Uh, here, there is a line material transfer internal order. Is that a, a, a IT, yeah. ITSO? It's all there, orders? actually. I never touched it also. For internal material order, we never used this method at all. We never used it. But it is there. And then uh, we have to go through the implementation guide and then see how best it is all done, actually. Yeah, normally what we'll do means if you transfer the material internal logs, right? We'll not use maybe the price. Maybe for the transfer only for the cost. Yeah. Whatever the cost, material cost, we'll use for this the This may right. be a transfer price, I think. Yeah. The internal uh, thing is for a transfer price. Actually. But why, why there should be a strategy for an internal customer? Like, no, no, you, it's the same there. company. You right? go through the document, you go on and read the document and the price. Uh, again, the, so that's gone. depends on the strategy. I mean, the, so I think uh, there are some companies, <laughs> they will uh, maintain some... Uh, Markup also, for example, uh, one percent, oh, okay. percent. If you're not yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there are so many reasons right? because of which. Because uh, if you sell any material from Houston, I mean the Texas, no tax, no such uh, surcharge tax. If you sell the same material in the Florida, you have two percent tax, surcharge tax, mm -hmm. county tax. 
So for that that type of persons, right? They will use the material tax also transfer the material from Texas to Florida that type of stuff. So pricing is really very complex, and then try to achieve a simple one, and then go through this, and afterwards uh, you can very well do it. No, I know that you want. So that's it. I know that you want. So this pricing model will not be successful. This is not how the business <laughs> actually do the service. This really is not how the actually. Uh, yeah, uh, because think, the business uh, do not do pricing this way. Uh, yeah. No, Sanjay, Portal I think today JD JD they are doing the same way. Because That is the software point of view. I am telling you, business consider price in completely a different different manner. The Oracle, yeah, are... the Oracle, JDE, SAP. Nobody knows how the business is doing the pricing. Nobody knows. It's really really tough. I know that. Yes, really. Oracle themselves is agreeing. Actually, fine. It's a very. They are they are just selling some product. That's all. But actual pricing, nobody will tell you how they do the pricing. Whatever we have seen is not a complex one. It's a very basic one. But there are very so many complex things are there in the pricing. Ah, very. It's very very difficult actually. <clears throat> That's why I don't cover the complex activities because I I couldn't understand that actually. It's very very difficult. And they why by 2001 2002 order management release 12 or whatever 11 I was like this only. It was one of the biggest product 20 years ago. It took correct 15 years to stabilize order management. So fusion will get there in five years. Yeah, EB's EB's order management advanced pricing has so many technical things. Uh, still people are you know learning. There are a lot of things in EB's also. You can do whole lot of uh, customization in uh, yeah, main pricing. Okay, then I will now go ahead. Exactly. So uh, I'm now going to. No, no, you're right. The, the only thing is, uh, I believe the only thing is the users got used to it now. Like eleven, eight, twenty years back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are used to it. Now I now go to the supply chain execution. I will again go there. Fine, keep on it now. I will now go to the supply chain execution. Supply chain execution, and then I go to the inventory management. Then I go to the inventory management. I will now click on it now. In the inventory management, there are five areas are there. I will not go to the shipments. And remember, the data access is a very important one as far as inventory is concerned. I will not show you this now. Uh, slash IMB. So there are four things which needs a data access as far as inventory is concerned. Now. So here you can see this is the one. So the inventory manager is required for all your uh, miscellaneous issues, miscellaneous receipts, subliminal transfers, improper transfers, etc. The receiving agent is required whenever you are making a gate is like what happens. The supplier supplies will be coming coming via gate. The intro transfers in transit will be coming via gate now, and then your return material authorization from the customer will be coming via gate now, and then uh, uh, when you want to return it back to the supplier also RTS transaction also will be processed via gate. So for which you have to have a data access for this. Warehouse manager is required for put away as well as pick confirm now. For a pick confirmation, what happens? You need a warehouse data access. Actually. Shipping manager is for ship confirmation actually. So these are the four uh, roles which needs a data access, and then this is required for every org. Remember, each and every org, wherever you are processing it, we need this. So this is a very important one. Yeah, remember it. <clears throat> so that's it. Now I will go to the shipments, and then I go to the manage shipment lines. So click on the manage shipment lines, and then if I put my order directly, it doesn't come at all. I will click on it. I will now go to the order number. This is the two one seven for me, and then but I am, and then click on search now. It will not come at all. Because it is meant for today now, or if you make a change to before, it will not work. Before, then don't do anything. Don't give any date at all. Then it will come. Right? Before, and then give a date. It will not come. So it will not go there. <clears throat> it will be coming. So remember, you make it as a before, and then give no date. It will come. Otherwise, this is a mandatory field, and then you cannot make it as a blank picture. Mm -hmm. And then if it is still not coming, what you can do is you can go there, click on it, and then you can say all due orders today and the next seven days. You can choose this now and click on it today and the next seven days. And then there you go and then put your order number two one seven and then you tap and then click on search now. But the order is now made yesterday, so it's also coming. So this or this fashion also you can search now. This area, your this what about the scheduled date? Fine, this is a, they they made it as a mandatory. Actually. This is the biggest problem. Fine, this is a mandatory one. So before works very well. If you give a before and then no date, it works very well. So there is no option of choosing before here now. Fine, it's not there. I know that you want it and then click on search. Now there are three lines are there. Let me create a separate uh, shipment number for each and everything. I'm going to click on it, select thing, and then I will now auto create a shipment number for the first line. <clears throat> for ten quantities, I'm not creating it now. So you must define the shipping parameters. See, it is not shipping at all. So shipping parameters are not defined, so we are unable to do any activity on the shipping area at all. <clears throat> fine. So it is not allowing you. Fine. So the shipping has to be set. Then only it will come now. So let us now go on and set up the shipping actually. I'm going to click on it. Now set up the shipping. To go there, fusion home training. So you will now find the EBS documentation under the freebies now. In the freebies, we have the EBS documentation. So open it up now, and then go to the OEM again. I will now tell you in this place now. You are having this document in this place now. Right? <clears throat> If you open up 
the Fusion OEM now. So if you open it up, so under the freebies, if you open it up, you'll now find the e-business documentation. E-business documentation will be somewhere here. Is here now. This one. So this is your download. This will be required for us. Okay. So here I go there. I will now open up what happens OEM, and then I will now go to uh, OEM day four now. OEM day four. So I will now go to the shipping execution. Now. Double click on shipping execution. <clears throat> Okay, this is not required. This, is, this file is not required. Ship execution, you will now see what exactly is written there now. And ship execution is there. I know this is also not required. I will now go to the shipping rules directly. I will now go to the shipping rules directly. It's a very complex one. Just keenly watch and then ask questions wherever you have. Now, I got three lines. Every line will be known as a detail. Now. Every line will be known as a detail. It will all be known as a detail. So there are multiple sales orders which will be hitting the shipping area. Now, the shipping in charge will now see whether he has got sufficient packing material or not. The equipment for lifting are there or not. The manpower is there or not. Resources like power, compressed air, water, etc. are all there. Now. So, company to company, these things, these resources for shipping will vary. Actually. So, based upon which, he will now say, okay, I am now going to, what happens, so filter the incoming. Everything cannot be processed because of a shortage on this. this is a shortage. So, he will now have a filtering area. The sales order, he will now specifically mention a sales order number and then he will not pay. Or the scheduled ship date, today is what? Today is 10th, isn't it? 11th. So whatever has been has been having a scheduled ship date up to 5th of July, I will not schedule it. Right? Scheduled ship date up to 5th of July, I will not process beyond which I will not do it tomorrow. Or requested date of the customer up to certain date, let us say 1st of July, I will not process. So he will now put certain filtering criteria and then do it. Now let us say he has put some criteria and then out of 100 incoming details, only 1 to 10 are qualifying for shipping now. Now, what he's going to do is he's going to sort the incoming one. The incoming one will be sorted by him. So he will now sort based upon the sales order number or outstanding invoice value or ship priority or a scheduled ship date. It will be a sort, subsort, subsort. So that we can now keep priority to what happens at this thing. This is known as a prioritization zone. So it is going to prioritize the incoming details. <clears throat> right. So there is a rule called RSR. The release the sequence rule will be taking care of the prioritization. Now, the rule is prioritized and then it has now said, the number six, the top one, then two, then nine, and then seven, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And remember, nothing will be left out. In a filtering zone, it may even leave something. If you have a big criteria, some of them will be left touches now, and it will not be passing this one. So, filtering zone, some of the details may not pass, whereas prioritization zone, everything will pass. Only thing is, it will get shuffled actually. Now, there is a grouping zone is there next. It's called pick slip grouping zone. So, this zone is basically responsible for uh, keeping the item in an orderly manner. So that what happens, let us say, 6 and 7 are for Delhi. So the Delhi material are kept together. And then 2 and 9 are for Bombay. The Bombay materials are kept together. So that the air, the inventory boy will not make a mistake. When the, once when the Delhi vehicle arrives, he will now lift only these things and then keep it on the vehicle. Otherwise, a wrong shipment will take place. So grouping zone is basically for easy and error-free staging. And then it helps the inventory boys to a great extent. So that they don't any, make any mistakes. Now, it is now sorted like this now, 6, 2, 9, and 7. Let us say, every detail is asking for 100 quantities of item 1. All details are asking for item 1, 100 quantities. And then the inventory availability is only 300. So only three details will now get the material. So here, the prioritization zone is prioritized as 6, 2, 9, 7, etc., etc. Whereas grouping zone is clubbed 6 and 7 together, 2 and 9 together. So even though here 6 and 7 are clubbed together, 7 will not get a material because prioritization zone has given a fourth priority for this. So seven will not get the material. Seven gets fourth sequence and there is no material for allocation at all. So it will allocate only six to nine and not seven. Right? So you will not allocate the material based upon the grouping rules suggestion. This is only for not making a mistake actually. It is not for not for making a mistake. Whereas here, this is basically, say let us say we are now having an outstanding invoice amount. So this I was 100 rupees, this is 200, 300, 400 means what? That way it sorts. If you are choosing this for sorting actually. So, if you're choosing it as sorting, fine. Uh, you can now decide the way of sorting actually, and then it will be sorting like this. So, once when it sorts, and then if there is a shortage of material, whatever is coming on the high will be allocated material. Others will not get the material. So, even though seven comes over here, but it comes as a fourth, and then there is no material at all. I have only 300. So, these three details only will be. If you have a material, it will allocate. If you don't have a material, it will not allocate at all. So, seven will not get a material. Right. Then, afterwards, it will go on and hit the inventory picking rule now. So, in the inventory, we'll be having one. Uh, absolute last in first it as a default now. So whatever has come first, fine. Uh, whatever has come last, fine. 
uh, absolute last, whatever has come last, that will be issued to the customer actually. Because the latest one has to be issued to the customers also, whatever is it. it is called absolute last in first out. And then the older stock are not going out, we have to inform a promotion, buy two, get one free or something like that, and then you have to do the stock clearance sale actually. So the generic philosophy on the manufacturing industry is what? The latest one which is produced, the only will be given to the customers and not the older ones. <clears throat> so this way it works. So as far as management is concerned, there are two rules which are very important for the RSR and then the PR. Right. So this way, these are the rules. But this is not having any significance for the management, but it is only for the inventory man not to make a mistake. Actually. So we will not see the RSR and PR's recommendation. So let us say yeah, here. How, 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 where did you get that uh, manufacturing industry do LIFO for selling? Whatever manufactured last is. Is a company's philosophy. Let us say your company has a different philosophy, use that. Yes, 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 yes. That's what. By, def by default, LIFO is the best, best method. But if your company is having a different way, you can unlock it. You can put the what I say, picking rule in your organization. Or yeah, actually, that depends on the type, picking rule type of prep. Type of actually it depends on the nature of the product. If of course, nature of the product. business basically. My underling a generic nature. No, fine. And you can even design, define, design a picking rule for item also. Item level picking rule you can very well design. Fine. That is I explained my inventory training. Now here we have a shortage now. Let us say I need hundred material and then I have an excess material. Now. Middle level is excess. So the RSR is going to sort the incoming details. Now, since every detail is going to get the material, the RSR's recommendation is not all significant. Whereas PR's recommendation is significant. It says first to send the January stock, then afterwards February stock, afterwards March stock. Some stock is going to remain. So PR's recommendation becomes significant for the management. Now, the Ulta case, I have I want 700 and then the available is only 500. In which case, the RSR's recommendation becomes significant because some of the details will not get the material at all. This is not getting the middle of the So the RSR's recommendation becomes significant for the management. Whereas PR becomes insignificant because uh, every item is going to go away in the inventory. Whether you ship January 1st, February next, in whatever way it is recommending, it will know everything will go away. So its recommendation will not be significant at all. It will not be significant. We have a third case in which what happens, all the three is this required as well as available is saying that both are insignificant actually as far as management is concerned. So this is how it works. So, in the shipping area, we have once again, let me close this now. So, in the shipping area, there are four rules are there. One is a release sequence rule, one is a pick slip grouping rule, and then there is a release rule which is going to encompass all the three zones now, filtering zone, prioritization zone, and grouping zone. So, there is one. And then there is a ship confirmation rule. So, there are four rules we have to design now. One, one is the RSR, one is the PSGR, one is the RR, and then one is a ship confirmation rule. And after having done all the four rules, these four rules are generic for all the inventory or, and then that has to be assigned to your shipping parameters. Shipping parameters are inventory or specific, and that is the fifth setup. So there are five setups which are required before you perform a ship function. So that is why you are getting this error now. We are now trying to allocate it. We are getting this error now. In this place, we are now getting this error actually. If you go to this place, in this place, if I try to, what happens, go there, or create, auto create shipment, it is not allowing you because what happens, your shipping parameters are not defined. That is the ultimate one. The shipping parameters are all specific. And then after you create all the four rules, the RSR, the PSGR, the RR, the ship confirmation rule, you will now come over here and then define the shipping parameters. So four rules on them. Four rules are generic for all the R. Shipping parameters are inventory all specific. That you have to do. So otherwise it is not done. What happens? You not do it. <clears throat> so go. Can we do manual reservation? Like how yeah, yeah. Manual reservation we can very well do. We can do the manual reservation also. <clears throat> And the system has automatically reserved, you know, go on and have a look at it. Now, first of all, when was that See, for manual reservation also, Nana sir, uh, uh, you need a source. Means either it has to be uh, reserved to the sales order or yeah. it has to be reserved to yeah. some yeah. source. Purchase order also. We can even refer it to a purchase order. There are so many ways of reservation. Whatever mm -hmm. reservations are available, it's all available here also. And go click on it. And then you go to the inventory management. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, we go now. Nana, is shipping grants concept here. Uh, there here. Grants and rules are not there. Grants and rules concepts are not there. If you go okay. to the manager reservation, manager manager reservation. Okay. the grants and roles concept is not there in the shipping area. No. Go there. No. So here I will not put the item over here now. Item D01 score and then give it up. There's only one item that will be coming. If you go and then make a search on this now. I click on search now. <clears throat> you go and then make a search. You will now find a reservation available for this now. The system has already reserved it. Fine. Expand it and then expand it. So please mute your mics now. Fine, I will not mute your mic. Mute, mute all now. Fine, whenever you want to speak, you can open up your mic and then speak.
So against the sales order, it has reserved actually. Against the sales order, it has reserved. Because the scheduling is there. Afterwards, what happens? We have a reservation. So it is a 217-11-2131 of the three lines. For okay. Me. What are the possible sources in Fusion? Other than sales I'm order, open, what are the others? Uh, I click on the create reservation. I can manually create a reservation. Yeah, there will be a list of hello in, in the, in the, yeah. Mm, so yeah, 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 it will be coming. Uh, I have not done too much of an R&D of this now. Fine. You try this now. Electronic can try. We'll now also try this. Uh, uh, we will now do this now. We'll now do, come to the reservation area and then we'll uh, black, later and then we'll now do it. Now. Click on that. <clears throat> we'll now come to that. We'll now revisit this reservation area a bit later. Now, we are in the process of creating our rules now. So first is RSR. I'm going to create it. Now. I'm going to click on it. So I'll now go to this place. I'll now go to the navigation. Now. I'll click on it. I'll now go to the setup and maintenance. Auto schedule. Huh? Auto schedule. Auto schedule is there. Auto like, schedule is there. Yes, we have three to four way of auto scheduling. Ah, uh, we will uh, come to that every now. Fine, go ahead. So manage. Uh, we will know how to look at our document now. Fine, go ahead. Document, document, document. Uh, in the cloud, uh, we have a pick view, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How significant and comparison between these? Yeah, we will now see this now. Fine, go go on and see this now. Yeah. Right. So we are now going to this place. Go to the future Moya worksheet now. We are having a pick view. We are going to do it now. <clears throat> this place. Go to the home now. So first is what manage release sequence rule. The system number forty four. I'm going to go there. Fine, take copy of it now. Fine, click on it. I'll now go there. I'll go there. I'm now paste it. Now. Manage release sequence rule is the one. Enter now. Click on it now. I'll now create a rule. So the release sequence rule is now going to allocate the priority. And here, what happens is now going to allocate the priority for this now. Fine. So there are multiple criteria on which you can now choose it as such now. Fine, go there. Click on it. I'll now click on plus now. Fine. I will now make D01 RSR now. <clears throat> release sequence rule. I'm making now. So I will now say the release sequence rule. <clears throat> I now say first priority, I'm going to make it as a sales order. And then I will now make it as a assembly. So we can do a sort, sub sort, sub sort like this on whatever way you want. You have to discuss the end customers and then decide this RSR. So when there's a material shortage, this is going to help you out in allocation. Allocating the material, this is a very excellent one. And so you have to discuss with them and then do how many ways they want to sort it. So click on save and close. This is now complete. So RSR is now complete. Fine, go there, click on it. The next one is what we go there. We will now see this now. <clears throat> we will now go there. Manage pick slip grouping rule, PSGR. PSGR will now give you easy and error free staging. It's not having much of an importance now. So, but for, for the management perspective, but it will not make your inventory boys not to make a mistake actually. Fine, go there. Manage pick slip grouping rules, PSGR, I'm going to create. Thank you, Compass now. Look at the PSGR. This is a D01 underscore PSGR. And go there. Click on it. So it's a pick slip grouping rule. Sir, here there is no move order concept. Yeah, move order concept is there. We have move order concept. It's called movement request. No, fine. Buy my inventory records and then study. It will not teach you everything. Go to the order. Underscore. Huh? Underscore. Okay, okay. D01 underscore. Uh, yeah, okay. Fine. Underscore. PSGR, I'm not creating it. Right? I'm now going to do on the grouping on the order number. We can even do multiple groupings now. So that whatever it will be perfectly placed on the staging area. So click on save and close now. So the PSGR is now made. I'm going to that. Then at first we go there. The next step we are there now. Find 46th step. Manage pick wave release rule now. So the pick wave release rule is now going to do what? It will now have the combination of the filtering zone, prioritization, and grouping zone. All the three put together is a pick wave release rule. The release rule it is known as a pick wave release rule. I'm going to click on it. So we'll now go on that put this now. Pick wave release rule. The third rule I'm doing it now. I'm going to click on it. So manage pick wave release rule is on. I'm click on it. <clears throat> we'll now create this now. Fine. Click on plus now. I'm now going to create a pick wave release rule. <clears throat> so I will now create a PWRR. It's a D01 underscore PWRR. Pick wave release rule. I'm creating it now. PWRR. I'm creating it now. So the first is what I'm now going to give a what's called first of all, I don't give a start date is now coming as automatic now. Fine. The shift from organization also we can delimit it now. Fine. Or if you want, if you leave it, it will be for all the all. Fine. I will now limit it to this or no. Fine. This PWRR is for D01 only. D011 now. I will now see D011. I'm now, I'm now filtering it out also. So order type, this is only for sales orders or return or transfer now. Fine, we can even limit it on this one. And then on the dates, we can say the scheduled ship date, which are now going to go there now. Fine. What I'll do is I will now say start within. The scheduled ship dates, which are start within the next two days, we are going to ship it now. Fine, go there, which is now starting. 
So if you want to have a backdated one, you can use a minus two, minus three. So if you say minus three, whatever is having a scheduled to ship date in the past three days, it will be considered for the filtering area. Now. So whichever way you want. So whichever is going to start within the next two days, right, that will be considered. Or otherwise, leave it as it. Nana, Nana Venkat here. That has one doubt. Yeah. So if we give the uh, start date as two days, mm -hmm. so it won't pick the uh, existing scheduled date uh, sales order? It is, I think, up to two days now. Fine. Existing sales orders and then the sales orders which are having uh, days up to the next two days. Today and then up to next two days. When that comes okay. out. Okay, let's say I have given two days time, mm -hmm. but my scheduled date of uh, like June 10th or June 15th. One second. Let us say I'm not giving it now. Another day. I'm not going to give it three days now. I'm going to click on an end date. Fine. It ends within five days. Mm -hmm. This means what? Whichever is having a scheduled date from, let us say, what is today's date? Today's date is 11th. So 14th to 16th only will be considered now. If you give it a zero from today onwards, it will be considered. Got it? So if you need some 11th to 16th, actually, 11th to 16th, it will be considered. If you give two days, which is having 13th to 16th, it will be considered. Got it now? Fine. So whenever you are running, let us say you are running this program on, let us say, 22nd now, and then it is having two to five. So what happens? 24 to 26 only will be considered on the day of running. Okay. So previous day won't be considered. Huh? Previous, previous uh, sales order yeah. which is having. Day, Minus five, uh -huh. it will not consider today is what happens from six to sixteenth. You know. Minus five means what today is eleventh, and then okay. it will go from seventh to sixteenth or whatever it is. Okay. Okay. Right. This way you can do it. I'm if, not. If we use uh, while uh, releasing, if you use this rule, uh, this will be taken. Under it depends upon the field now. Find how frequently they are doing the picking. It is all on the volume basis basically. If they have a big volume, then what happens? It will be coming into picture. If you are having a very small volume, this filtering will not be there at all. You will not filter. Yeah, most of the organization, no, no, this will be scheduled, this program. Picking yeah, yeah. They will not schedule it. Some, it yeah, yeah. If it's Any organization order, will be scheduling it. Yeah. And so, what happens? There is no necessary for them to do the filtering as such. Filtering. Yeah, there are, if it is any past you or back orders, they will do it manually. And, yeah. Anything which is not lying long time back, then you will not do a manual picking. And all those things. Or if any customer, I mean the cash customers, those who are coming in the front counter buying the parts, yeah. for them this also, is, they will do it manually. This is mainly for FMCG industries where what happens, the volume of sales is huge. So every one hour you will be getting a paste, uh, the toothpaste is now getting ordered now. So you will now decide this and then it will now accordingly pick now. Let us say a customer is asking for after four days now, fine. Don't, don't pick now. You pick only which is now today and tomorrow or whatever it is now, fine. Zero, zero one means what? Today and tomorrow only you are going to pick now, fine. Which is which the customer is asking for a material after two days or three days, don't pick now. Because your staging area will become full. Too much area of material will be there actually. So this has to be practically seen about how to set it up now. What to sir, can we leave the first one blank? Uh, the the we can leave the can we leave that? Sh we'll see, we'll try, ship I, I never tried this now. Fine, I try all the combinations. Because I, we wanted to know ship everything, whatever is pending, and that till, is to, till next only right? until next day. It means what? Every is infinite back backdated basically. It may be you just try it. I've never tried it actually. You try this. You, this, you, this you can. That is possible. Venget, that's possible. Mm -hmm. For example, what they will do means in the top, if you go a little bit top, no, no, sir, you just put only unreleased orders. Ah, so ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? They will select all the orders, back orders and uh, unreleased. Yeah, always they'll put all. Mm -hmm. So it will both unreleased and the back orders. Yeah, because the past is, orders, uh, orders, uh, they'll yeah. go with that. So these are the very, very many settings are there in the filtering. Yeah. So just make an R&D on this now. I'm not doing anything on this training now. I'm not going to go there. I don't know, say, uh, end on. I don't know, make a blank as well. The filtering criteria, I'm now making it as a blank. And there are plenty of filtering criteria as well. So this rule is now going to, the RR will have three components. One is the filtering zone, then the prioritization zone, then the grouping zone. Now, next one, I'll now go to the P, uh, the RSR, and then the PSGR. I'm going to do it. Now. Going to do it. I will now click on the options area. Right? On the rule, what happens? I click on the options area. I'll go there. Click on it. So in this place, I'll now go on and give the RSR and PSGR. <clears throat> I'm going to click on it. So uh, I am already put on the main one, right? the D011 org now, fine. Because of which whatever is now coming, we can uh, make like this org specific actually. Fine, because the option is now coming as there. Fine, I will now put the RSR now, fine. D01. I will now put the RSR. I will now put the D01 PSGR also. So these two things. Fine. In the options area, we are going to put these two zones now, the RSR and PSGR. We are going to public, and then automatically pick confirm. Fine. It picks and then what happens? It, it releases the pick wave and then it confirms the pick wave also. Fine. Uh, I don't know whether I have the document here or not. I don't know. In the fusion OM training, in the fusion order management, in the shipping, I don't see whether we have the shipping. I don't know if we have any documents. Yes, we have a document. 
So order management has got two parts. One is the order entry and then fusion shipping execution. So the shipping execution has got two parts. One is the pick release and then one is the ship confirmation. The pick release and ship confirmation are there. So here we are going to create a pick wave movement request and this is equal to more and then do the confirmation also. Right? The pick release process will now realize, release a PR and then the PC process. It is a pick release and then the pick confirmation process, the PR and PC process. Then afterwards we will now perform a ship confirmation. So here if you go on and see, if you give a, this thing now, if you go on and give, sorry, this place, if you say automatically pick, fine, automatically pick confirm, the PC process is also completed. Now. The confirm process is also completed. It's also completed. So this is what is, and, you know, pretty good. And then afterwards, this is for the trade complaints and all. And we will now have to say, which is your staging supplementary. I will not choose one of them as a stage. I made a mistake here. <coughs> the one. So go down. And then that's it. Fine. Create the shipments also. We will now be creating a shipment. Shipment number will be created. We can even pack automatically. Packing is a separate model. So if you have it, automatically you can do it. Packing also. And then what are the documents to print on the picking? Now? Fine. We can even create a document and then do it. Now. Fine. And then we will now give a ship confirmation rule that is not yet come. Fine. Long go on and do it afterwards. The ship confirmation rule is the fourth rule which you are going to create now. Fine. So give a seven close by which what happened? The RR is created now. The PWRR is created. Which Nana, encompasses Nana, all the three now. Nana, Nana can you go to this demand, demand section once? Okay, thank you. The, all the three zones are taken care of by the RR. My pick wave release rule is no done. So I'll now go to the demand section now. Demand section will be having mainly filtering. The shipping priority, what is this shipping priority? The higher priority. Fine. If you are putting a higher priority in the sales order, I don't know where exactly you have to put now. Fine. If you say the priority is high, that will be considered first. I'm not aware of where exactly we have to put the shipping priority on the sales order. I think it's in the sales order line. Uh, maybe the line. I'm not sure. In the OM, in, at least in EBS, it is there, but I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, here, I don't know. We have to make a check. Shipping priority. Nana, this PWR will be performed by warehouse managing order operator, right? PWRR will be for all the three things put together, we can do it now. No, we are going to do it now. This will be performed by uh, role warehouse manager, right? No, 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 no. This is not. It is all shipping manager role now. Fine. This is RR is not for the warehouse manager. Warehouse manager is for put away as well as pick confirm now. Warehouse role, if you give a dead access, it will now facilitate your put away as well as your pick confirmation. Okay. Fine. So, so this is similar to like EBS only. Yeah, yeah, it's similar to EBS only. Fine. It's not a not much, much, uh, not much, much difference. difference. Not yeah. much difference. It's a similar yeah. So the pick wave release rule is ready now. Fine. Uh, I don't Nana, see any difference. Read about for non OM guys. Mm. Yeah, non OEM guys will be fine. Uh, Very difficult, is, actually. Fine. Mm. Correct. So, is your pick wave rule conflicting with the filtering rules? Your first one? Yeah, first one is a filtering zone. Not the pick, the release rule will be having the filtering zone. If you give you nothing, everything will pass through. I have not given anything at all in the filtering. So, everything will now pass through the filtering zone, actually. Got it? Any doubts on this now? We'll now go for the next two. Uh, uh, your Srini, your shipping planner and warehouse operations manager will, they, you know, they already will have so many of these uh, in their existing thing. Most of them may have a wave planning or they may do weekly planning. Sometimes your warehouse operations will do Monday to Friday planning. And if the shipping priority is rushed, after 4 o'clock they're shipping, they might be having another pick wave release rule and so on. So, you business will drive most of the rules that you will create here. <clears throat> okay, so we have now completed the managed pick wave release rule. We will now go for the third rule now. So we have now done the RSR, we have done the PSGR, we have done the RR, that is a pick wave PWRR. Now we are going to go for the ship confirmation rule now. That is the fourth rule we are going to do it now. Ship means it is delivery. Huh? Cover means delivery. Which one, Chan? There? you said. See, uh, I don't know what are all I'm telling now. So the pick wave release rule has got three zones and then there is a fourth rule which is the ship confirmation rule which you are going yeah. to create now. Yeah, put away is nothing but delivery. But yeah, uh, put away is nothing but delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If somebody please clarify other doubts also if I am unable to clarify. Put away is nothing but delivery. Delivery means what? Deliver into the inventory, not to deliver to customer actually. Deliver to confirm customer is ship confirmation process. Yeah, means uh, it is delivered deliver to risk means uh, it is uh, uh, where the ship confirmation process. The ship confirmation process is now going to deliver to the customers actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of delivery order. That is a delivery into the inventory is a different. That is a put away. The put away. When you receive it from supplier, you are going to put away into the, into, the, into, the, into the inventory. That is a put away transaction. Put away will do it for receiving transactions. For the receiving transactions, exactly. This will be shipping it to the customers actually. 
Mm. So the PR has got two process: pick release and then pick confirmation. No. Shipping calendar and. Uh, yeah, we can even have a shipping calendar on which order only we can ship. No, but we can even have a shipping calendar. Yeah, shipping calendar. Otherwise, uh, order was uh, there is a separate shipping calendar. I never seen it. Uh, direct is like said now, and then sit in the org. So there will be some task I think probably for shipping setting the shipping calendar for org. We can even set a shipping calendar for org. So that will be honoring it. Let us say I am going to ship only on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from Himachal Pradesh. No other day the one vehicle will move. Off. So we will have a shipping calendar only for three days in a week. Actually. So yeah, only on those we can ship. That will assign to organization, right? Yeah, not organization. There is a separate task for it. I know when I see the task, I will tell you. There is a shipping calendar assignment task for the organization. So that will now overrule the inventory org schedule actually. It is there. I forgot that. I know later on I will not tell you. There is too much shipping calendar. Maybe I don't know. I forgot that actually. So no, no. In that case, if you, even though if you ship confirm, you mean that material will not pick. I mean will like, not will not uh, get ship confirmed at all. If your okay. calendar is not a working day, if the shipping it, calendar uh, is not a working day, it will not ship confirm at all. So it will stay in the same the staging the area. Staging area only. Yeah, it will not ship confirm. Shipping. Rana, in that case, shipping calendar will be based on customers because customers might it be. Depends upon the inventory or let us say I have a inventory org in Darjeeling. Darjeeling, they have vehicles which are moving out only on three days in a week now. So it is all depending upon the shipping organization. The calendars will be not customers actually. No, no. It is based on both. It is based on the inventory. Uh, going to have a customer restriction actually. I don't understand. It is, it is based you on have a both. calendar which is normally your restrictions on your area actually. It, it is no, based, based on both. Customer also you right, Nana sir. You can say that inventory. I am now in Himachal Pradesh and I have a customer in Kanyakumari. Why I should not ship on Thursday or Friday? No, even you have option, right? Even if I am a priority customer, you will ask a question, right? Yeah, I don't want. You are going to define a shipping calendar which is going to be on or off. Right. You may be having very many criteria for defining yeah, the calendar. Nana sir, like some of the customers, right? They receive Maybe. only on particular days. We have to. It's okay. See, that is yeah. you are so only going to design now. Fine, you are designing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the shipping so calendar that, decides that whether that you are going to ship it on the the day is eligible for shipping or not. That's it. That is the one. So you can decide the criteria for this. Fine. That that can be decided by you. Fine. But system does not say it is customer specific. It is orcs uh, shipping calendar specific and not customer specific. Actually. Simple logic is CSR team can change the schedule shift date. Exactly. And exactly. booking the order, they can hey when you want material, tell me. We are ready to ship any time. Yeah, we can and never change the schedule. I want date. Friday means change the schedule shift date. Yeah. In the schedule shift so date. Planning can handle that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So have you understood this concept now? Now we go for the final rule called ship confirmation rule. Now, fine. That is the final rule you are going to do it now. Fine. So PR has got two process: pick release and pick confirm, and then ship confirmation has got only process. Now we are in the process of creating the final rule of ship confirmation rule. No, Sir, are you going to define this document set and document sequence? No, I don't know how to do this. No, fine. I tried my level best, and then I'm not uh, sh uh, understanding the document sets. No, fine. Uh, the ship confirmation document sets. It is a sealed one which is coming up. So I don't know how to design this actually. Will not go there. Manage ship confirmation rule. Will not go there. Will not go there. Manage ship confirmation. The final rule. Document going. sequencing. Document sequencing. Uh, what exactly you mean now? Oh, that that uh, that we'll now look at it in last. No, fine. The document sequencing, I will be looking at it in the last. So go there. Let me create the ship confirmation rule. Frankly, come plus nine. I will not get the ship confirmation. I will not say D zero one. I will not say ship underscore confirm underscore rule. I am not taking the rule. No, fine. That one. So I will not take the operator and put in the description. No. Ah, uh, sir. If we uh, don't check that auto pick confirm, then uh, we can do manual process. Manual pick. Auto pick confirm. Yeah. It will be manual process. We go. We will go and do it now. Fine, go there. Keep on. So that's it. Fine, go there. So I will now initially begin with the requested quantities. Later on, we will now go there and then remove this differ sending into main page. Now this is equivalent to ITS of EBS. Now in EBS, we have an interface strip stop, and then if you don't do it, ITS will automatically run, and then the shipping will be getting interface to order entry automatically. This is for interfacing the shipping entry automatic. So do not defer it now. Fine. So it will now run automatically upon ship confirmation. So ITS will run, and then it will now. Uh, notify order order management that is shipment so this is the only change i am making it now fine we'll now have a discussion later on now thank you on same and close so that's it my all the four rules are created now fine we have now created all the four rules now so the release sequence rule the pixel grouping rule pick wave release rule and then the ship confirmation rule all the rules are now created now we go on then define our parameters now shipping parameters we have defined this is the final activity we are going to do now fine so let's now go on and define the shipping parameters now take on done now No, we go to the Excel sheet now. 
So we have not completed. So this task, 48th task is what? Manage shipping parameters. Now, fine, go click on it. Now go and then define the 48th task. Manage shipping parameters. Enter now. Go there, click on it. And then you see that your org is there. It is org specific and G011. And then you tap and then click on OK now. So the org specific one, you're not setting it up. So the org number is coming back like here. Here, there are certain things which are important. This is for basically transportation management. I will now give weight as weight now. <clears throat> and then volume as volume. And the class, I'm now giving it now. And then here, I will now say there is a thing now. Fine. Uh, we will now sit the behavior. We will be having a look at it a bit later now. Fine. I will now say the information now. Fine. So the system automatically creates the packing one now. The pack slip is automatically created. The bill of lightning document is automatically created. And the commercial invoice is automatically created. Here you can do manually all these things now. Fine. Here I am not very sure about how to do it now. Last batch itself we tried, but I couldn't understand this now. Fine. So we can even create these documents manually actually. <clears throat> Automatically packed, I'm not doing enough. I know that. RSR, I'm going to drop it down. I will not choose my RSR. I will not choose my PSGR. <clears throat> I know that. I will not say it's okay. And then the staging subinventory, I'm going to choose it. I will not choose the staging subinventory. PSGR, you PSGR. selected wrong one. PSGR. Oh, PSGR. I will not find that too much. The number of slips, pick slips in a line. Fine. Number of pixels now in a report, I will not say five lines. At, up to maximum five lines, we can print in one paper. Otherwise, it will not pick up the next paper. I will, click on it. I will not put the staging sub inventory. I will click on it. No, no, wait. It is all there now. Fine. Okay. And then I can even make an express pick now. Fine. That will be automatically picking it. So, based upon the available serial numbers and lot numbers, this is mainly for lot and serial control. Fine. So, you will now come to the info shipment sets a bit later now. Fine. Click on it. So, that's it. This is for release management, actually. This is a shipping method, FOB, fine. Grouping. This is for release management. I don't know whether release management is yet to come or not. I'm not sure about it, fine. So once you know release management. Uh, in EVS, we have it now, fine. Here it's coming. I was told now, but I don't know whether it's coming. Release management will be using these four parameters. So go up and then here, what happens? I'm not going to enforce the shipping method. So shipping method is not mandatory here. Click on it. I will now give a save. This completes the shipping parameters now. This one, none of the requests pack, pack and slip. Required packing slip. Require packing slip also will not remove it now. Where is the required packing slip? Is there anything? This this is right side. Right side, okay, fine. I'll remove it now. And top on top. On top. The top, okay, fine. Uh where just is it? Below. Yeah, now it's just below. Required on packing slip. Just just below. Just now. Required on below. packing slip, I'm not touching anything at all. Nothing is selected actually. If you say on the packing slip, then automatically all these things are required actually. Fine. So that you can make a R and D on this now. Record on packing slips, the shipment description, the packing slip status, and all these things. If you make it as a yes, what happens? You have to do it now. I have never done this actually. Make a check on this now and then do it now. No, no. Express uh, pick is available on EBS or it's a fusion and new. Uh, I don't know. Express pick is okay. basically is going to automatically allocate the serial number and lot number. And I'm not yeah. sure whether what is the thing corresponds to EBS now. In EBS, I don't know. What it okay. will all be there. Shipping is basically a replica of only EBS now. So it's all be there somewhere now. On EBS, I think Nana in inventory out parameter there's auto allocate. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So that, that maybe, parameter, if you no, it, here also we have the auto allocate now. Fine, we have the auto allocate. And then, you you, so now. when you go for deeper repair service from there, they'll use auto allocate. They don't want to, yeah, yeah, they yeah. will you know, see, ship confirm everything they will from deeper yeah, repair yeah. itself. The inventory parameters, he is now saying, uh, I'm not sure about where exactly you will see. That's it. You the, will not done the, the shipping express, parameter. The express ship is not the quick ship in EBS. Maybe the quick ship, maybe fine. Maybe the express pick is basically for a quick ship. I think probably uh, I'm not sure about it again. Fine. It may be for no, a quick, pick and ship. Mm -hmm. So, this may be facilitating a pick and ship in one way. I think maybe, or I'm not sure about it. Fine. Again, we'll, we make yeah, a check. Yeah. Somebody uh, give us an idea about what exactly the express pick, and then we'll not uh, communicate. Oh, with you need to mention okay. ship confirm. So, so, basically, we don't need to do a transact move order to confirm which serial number or lot number that we are picking. So right? We are going to come to the now. Fine. Once again, we'll now come so to the transact move order. Is now fine. Oh, no. Hello, future ship, uh, ship date. What it explains. Hello, Hello, future Hello. ship date. You know, if, uh, if, if it has to be shipped only next week, it will be allowing you to ship now also. Mm -hmm. Ship confirm. You need to mention that. Mm -hmm. So click on seven plus by which what happens? We are now completed the shipping parameters. Now all the five activities on the shipping area are now completed. Four rules. Man, man, ship confirm rule. Ship confirmation rule is also completed. I have completed it. Didn't I didn't that. No, you didn't mention that in the parameters. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, you are not mentioned in the parameters. You are saying man, 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 oh. shipping parameters. Now the ship confirmation rule. Now you are saying it. So I have not mentioned it. Is there any way to mention it here now? 
it is not asking at all in the top part oh ho oh, oh. in the ship confirmation rule okay fine good so i not mentioned it let me mention it out so i'm not mentioning it but good good so this rule is also mentioned now so three rules we can mention it now one is the rsr psgr and then your uh, ship confirmation rule the fourth rule i don't think there is any place now fine the pick pay release rule cannot be mentioned over here there is a parallel process to uh, picking actually this is a parallel process to picking fine go there give a save and then what happens we go there and then click on save and close <coughs> so we have now mentioned all the possible rules over here now fine we go there we will now again go and then do it now fine go there click on the manage ship and lines and then now i will now go and then create auto create ship and now. click on auto create ship and i am now going to create a ship and now. click on it i am now creating a ship and also The shipment number is now created. Two five two four zero zero five. I will not keep my customer on the second line now. Second line. I will not order the shipment now. I will not order the shipment. There is now six, and then I will not keep the customer. We can even club multiple lines and then create all them. Fine. Okay. With the control, I can select multiple lines and then create only one shipment number also. That is also possible now. So I am now doing it separately for this uh, training. You know, I go there. Put the order the shipment. I am now making another thing. So five six seven of the three numbers now. Now let us now go and then pick it now. Fine. Click on the other one. I am now going to launch the pick release. Two two four zero zero five. I am going to launch the pick release. Fine. Click on it now. So I am now clicking on it. It will open up now. <clears throat> it now opened up. Fine. Go there. Two four zero zero five is shipment number. So what I am going to do is I will now uh, go there. I will now launch the pick release now. Fine. Now once when you launch the pick release, both the pick wave movement request as well as pick confirmation will now come happen together actually. Fine. Both things will be happening together. Fine. Go there. And then the activity will be going to the stage now. Shipment number is delivery enables. Yeah, shipment number is delivery exactly. Enables we call them as a delivery, and then here it is known as shipment number. You don't come over here now. Fine, go there. Come on it. And then I will go to the actions, and then go to pick release now. So pick release and pick confirmation will be happening together on this. Fine, click on it. So the pick release and pick confirmation will be coming. Fine. And then the data will be going to the stage now. Fine, go click on. What happens? The save and close, and then come out of it. Now the particular thing will be staged actually. Fine, you know, it will be ready to release, and then. Will be two twenty four zero zero five will be staged. Can we uh, can we assign uh, the second line to the first shipment number? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah. You can always reassign everything. Whatever you want, you can very well do it. And then we long go there. The manual way. Go to the dope gate now. Manually do the. Yeah, you can do it. So go to the tools and then go to the schedule to process and then have a look at it now. So click on the schedule process now. What happens is now running now. The release pick wave is all running now. So pick release documents are getting printed. So he can even associate certain things on the release document. Now that is not clear for me. If anybody knows about how to design the pick release documents, sir, please inform us. We'll now tell the group also. Fine, go there. So pick slip report is also getting printed now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So everything is now getting succeeded now. Fine, go there. Go back and then in this place, you go there. Go to this place and then let us now requery it now. Fine, go there. So we'll now go to the manager and go there. Uh, where is it now? Want to process set up a maintenance? What is that? It did now. Manage shipment lines. Okay, man, you all us. In the manage shipment lines. <clears throat> go there. Is all. So let us now requery it now. Fine, click on search now. Fine, it will be staged actually. The first line will be staged. It's now staged. Now let us now perform a ship confirmation for this one. So once when you perform a ship confirmation, it will be sent to the customer. Fine, click on it now. I will now go and then perform a ship confirmation. Also. Open the shipment number. Fine, go there. I will now click on the ship confirmation button now. and click on the ship confirmation button now it will be sending it to the customers now fine it's now giving a warning now the is the warning the weight and volumes are not defined in the item fine weight and volume is okay item is not having it it doesn't matter click on accept this warning <clears throat> only transportation management needs the weight and volume so now what i was a concurrent to be running called send shipment advice the send shipment advice is responsible for informing order management that is now ship now fine ship confirmation document in order Now, what happens? You know, see, the send shipment advice is responsible for communicating your shipped product into the order management actually. It will be running, and then once when it is completed, you can now see the manage shipment lines in this place. No, no, is it ASN? It is not ASN. It is a ITS now. Interface trip stop on your place. Send shipment so, advice. Advice is another ITS, right? Interface trip stop. Interface trip stop. ITS. ITS. Interface trip stop is the one. So yeah. it interfaces to AR, right? Does it send the ASN also? No, ASN is a different one. ASN is an advanced shipment notice. This is now going to communicate whatever you shipped into the order entry area. Now. I think I understand. No, I'm Someone asking. You are asking question like EDA process. We have yeah. order ship after order ship confirm. No, no, sir. We will send the ship confirmation advice to the customers. Oh, oh, oh. So that, that is, is why ASN. Yes, that's called EDA eight fifty six number. So oh. yes, that's a different process. Sir. Not this program, Salman. Do you know that process name or? I don't know that exactly. It's a DSL. after ship confirm that will be defined. That will be called from the EDA EDA process, not here. That's a DSL one, no? That's a shipment. DSL, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 DSL. So if you give, I think what happens? It will be saying interface now. Fine. It is now interface to order entry. 
can go that click on it and then click on search now and click on search it will be interface to auto <coughs> it will be interface to order entry. There is no interface. The line is interface actually. So if you go on then have a look at our, this thing now, fine, click on it. Right click and then duplicate now. We now go on and have a look at the sales orders now. The sales order will be having this now, fine, go to this place. You go to the order management and then have a look at the order order area, fine, go to the order management and then you know, query order number 217 and you know, go look at it now, 217. So let me query it now. So it has got three lines. The first line is already shipped now. And it has gone to the awaiting billing also. It is not shipped and then it has gone to the awaiting billing. And remember, those who are doing a manual setup, not via your uh, uh, rapid implementation, you will not have an error now. Billing error will be there because AR is not set now. So whenever you are having the billing error, please tell me, I will not teach you about how to set up AR manually. Fine. I will not take one session for this now. Those who are doing it manually, once when they land up in a stage area of what? Billing error. There will be a billing error. Then I will not take up your machine, your login, and then I will not set up AR for you. I will not, announce, I will not give it two hours time before I do that now. So once when you, you know you put it on the WhatsApp chat, I will now set up AR manually for you. Then only it will go to awaiting billing. So rapid implementation has already set up AR, and so what happens? It has already been interfaced to AR now. Awaiting billing, it is now ready for billing. So After go there. in uh, EDS, we check uh, transaction open interface if we find any issue with the you know, interface with this program. So is it the same? Uh, in, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I yes, don't we can this. see in AR also open interface is there. In yeah. Uh, in the open interface also we can very well see here also I think we can see it. Sir, you we have any ITS concept like uh, EBS here? ITS means? Interface. Interface strip stop is there now. That is what I told now. So the this concurrent, this concurrent, what happens? This send ship and advice is nothing but interface strip stop. It has completed and then it has now interface the shipping execution into order entry now. Go there. So go there. This will update our inventory flag to yes. Yeah, it will update the inventory. It will now reduce the inventory and then release the reservation now. It will now reduce the inventory and then release the reservation. That is responsible for it. And it will close the line? Close the sales order line? No, we are to come to that. We are coming to that. It will not close the sales order line, but it will close the shipment line. Shipment line is closed. The detailed delivery ID will be closed. It will be coming to it. We are going to close the line as well as order. Everything we have to close now. Manage inventory. We will be doing it. Can you run this send shipment advice manually? We can also run it manually. Very correct. See, send shipment advice can be run manually also. Fine. If you do not defer the interface, we have to run it manually only. This concurrent has to be run manually. I have now enabled where? In the shipping parameters. Na? In the shipping uh, ship confirmation rule, I have enabled this. Uh, now, defer uh, send shipment advice has been defer, uh, removed. No, that's, uh, that's if you enable it, we only have to run this manually. Remember, It has to be run for every shipment actually. The ship, send shipment advice has to be run manually for every shipment. Good question. So the there is that parameter would be delivery, right? The driver, I, I will not see what exactly to ask for. Pa Parameter will be shipment send number. Order. Send shipment number. Send shipment Param number. Now. Yeah, parameter, parameter will be shipment will number. We will not see what is the parameter. And shipment yeah, shipment yeah, number. Is there any other program which will update the OM? And, uh, this is the only program. From shipment number to shipment number. Fine. This is the shipment number is the one. And yeah, then the no, message no, no, is no, what? A and or both or whatever. Sorry. How the line status will be closed? The line status is not at close. No, fine. I will tell you, we will come to the line status close later on. We are ready to come to that part now. Line status is only awaiting billing. Once when you create an invoice, the line status gets closed now. Once when you create an invoice, the line status gets closed. If it is Answer, a will, you, uh, will you show us the manual process as well? Uh, if, we uh, that. if you want, we can take it up. Fine. I will not take it up and then show it to you. Fine. During the training, you ask me. I will not show you the manual process also. <clears throat> so, go there. So, the first one is line I'm sorry, uh, does the shipment. Nana sir, does shipment number have any, you know, trip associated to it? Trip? Trip, no, the trips and stops functionality has not come in Fusion. Now. The trip stop functionality is yet to come. That will not come. Maybe in the release management, it may be there. But in order management, we don't have the trip stop concept at all. <clears throat> that is not there. Trip stop concept okay. is not there. Good questions, fine. Okay, uh, I'm not taking more time, but has I'm, anybody, I'm not you doubts. Has anybody worked on, Nana, has anybody in the group worked on uh, integration with Logfire? Or WMS with in the shipping, fusion shipping. Can I don't if anybody has worked? I didn't work, but in my project this there, I have a basic knowledge on this one. But so not talk to Ramu Bachu. Ramu will, uh, Ramu Bachu will have to get hold of Ramu Bachu. He knows. Uh, <laughs> yeah, who is this? He knows a lot about it. Yeah, who is this? <laughs> who is speaking now? 
Salman. Yeah, you know, okay. Salman is now da- talking about it. I find very good. So Salman wants. No, no. Can we can rocket. we see a detailed view of the delivery details? Ah, uh, we have to only run a concurrent for uh, whatever all these things now. And we can't see the detailed one here itself. Maybe uh, if you go on then uh, uh, in the monitor process, if you go on then see the output of it, it may be giving you. I'm not sure about it. In this place you can see. But there is no ready-made report. You have to only make a custom report. Actually, everybody will now make a custom report for whatever has been shipped. Actually. in our company our technical team has created a report and then that report will be running automatically upon send ship on that basis so that way they won't be getting actually hmm. that will be a report will be coming up uh, no there is a shipping transaction form in ebs right similar view uh, uh, like those many details like net weight ship method uh, ship See, to order it can be customized right? every report can be created by technically whatever way you want you can very well do it huh? but i don't know whether any ready made ones are available or not i'm not sure about it. This one, so Madhu, report, report, no, no, report, I am asking for my. Bill of lading report is now running now. Yeah. Madhu, you can hyperlink. Now. There was a hyperlink yeah, on the delivery itself. You can talk about the form, sir. You can. Yeah, there is a hyperlink on the delivery itself. You click on the shipment, See. it will open up and show you all the yes. details, like how yes, it yes, shows. Yes. It. You can go to uh, Nana. You can go to shipment ma- shipment lines. Manage shipment. Manage shipment lines. lines, and then here. Ah, uh, you just open that shipment. Okay, one shipment which has been interfaced. I will now open it up now. Ah, uh, yeah. So here. You can what? find all the details here. Here the details are coming. Now he is asking in this place whatever you got plenty of details in the bottom now. You go through this. If this is sufficient, is okay. We can even take it as a report also. Actions export Excel is there. Yeah, it is also there. We can even export Excel and then analyze it actually. There are plenty of uh, details available in the bottom now. Fine. So you see whether this is all okay or not for you. Yeah, you will get the moment request ID. What is the moment yeah, request and pick wave number and uh... all the numbers are available. now we are going to go for the second part what happens we are now going to do a ship confirmation directly so now here what i am going to do is i am going to make a modification of hang on that on it i will not say pick confirmation is required for this org and i am going to make it as a pick confirmation request on d011 enter now so i am going to make what pick confirmation required now enter on it so what is it sir do we have uh, item cross reference in uh, fusion no item cross reference is not there i know that click on it so click on it and then there in evs it's not there so click on nana uh, Hi, Nana. Thank you, sir. So we cannot uh, use the EDI uh, implementation. We can use now. EDI can be used. I don't know. Uh, but electronic data but interface. Person. Anybody is uh, conversant, uh, they can speak on this now. EDI is also can be used now. The REST interface, SOAP interface. There are plenty of things on the technical side. Everything can be used actually. But I don't know whether. Uh, Venkat, the convention also. like eight four zero nine four zero nine four five. Those are all gone away now. All REST API is based. Hmm. So. now you go there here i will now go to the uh, item sourcing details and then here what about I, i can now drop down and then choose one of the methods as in uh, absolutely for no doing it online i will now say pick confirmation required that means what after you release the pick wave we have to manually confirm it that is what it says now for this org right so is now is now made as a pick confirmation required fine click on save and close now so the pick confirmation is required for this org now now i go there go to the manage ship and lines and then here i will now give a cancel now come to the main line the second one i am going to straight away ship now but it will not ship at all and had i not enabled the pick confirmation required and then if you go there and click on ship confirmation it will be confirming it directly you know see what happens now and click on now the organization needs a ship pick confirmation fine click on ship ship confirmation you go there and then here what happens now uh, the selected ship confirmation will unassign all the shipments now fine is a penalty what happens is not doing it you cannot do this now the ship confirmation request has warnings on the shipment the selected ship confirmation process will unassign the shipment number because you are now inventory says your pick confirmation is required you are trying to ship confirm directly so as a penalty what happens it will now unassign the shipment number now it will now unassign the shipment number at least one shipment number needs to be has not pick released at all fine yes. it will unassign it so as a penalty what happens it will now say it will now remove the shipment number of 24006 Yeah, Nana, so I'll just gone now. Mm-hmm. I'll just give one. Yeah. So if you you have a shipment in this around four lines of this, in okay. this three lines are released and it's okay. confirmed. One release, one line is ready to release. Okay. That one, if you click on ship confirm, if you enable that warning, yes, that the line which is ready to release, it will be vanished off from this shipment. But in this case, the remaining three lines. So will be... exactly why we lost the shipment number is what because of this one. In this place, we say pick confirmation is required for this order. we have to manually pick confirm that is what the organization says now so it will not allow you to what happens the ship confirm directly fine so this tick mark is not allowing you let me remove it now fine with the click on remove it now i will now remove it and then click on save and close now we can ship confirm directly now we can ship confirm ideally it should not allow with open lines no no 
there were few open lines at that time we changed the setup right it should so, not allow uh, whenever you launch it at the time it will go on and check on the inventory org it is prospective it is not retrospective at the time it will go on and check the inventory org whether it is allowing you to pick confirm automatically or not now let me go on an auto create it now number i am creating it now so i am not getting the next number now so it is going for four i don't know why it's gone for four year now if i ship confirm it will now confirm now thank you on it now it will not ship confirm so it will not amazon no it will confirm confirm now we don't have any pick confirmation requirement of fine what is the selected ship confirmation options oh god i think uh, we have to what happens uh, log out and log in and do it now fine go that one so that is the reason that it is not coming so it is not sensing the change actually fine it is again unassigned it now <clears throat> so here we go there it is not unassigned it fine go that one so you didn't uh, you release this land right she still in the ready, uh, ready to release status yeah 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 no it is not ship confirming directly fine let us not go there let me log out and log in for the changes to take effect now log out and log in now none of that we have with this fulfillment set ship set all those things here yeah yeah the fulfillment set ship set everything is there here we'll be having a look at it a bit later we have everything here the fulfillment set ship set everything is there now hey god i am going to have now to go to sign out and sign in now and sign out and sign the drop and stop concept it is not there you are the uh, yeah the the trip stops trip and the stop. trips and then the delivery or whatever those things are not there now fine the stops and trips are not there actually that is the one which is missing here now i'm going to click on it i will now sign in again and then this time whatever i will now perform a ship confirmation directly so click on it i'll now go there i'll now go to the supply chain execution and then i go to the inventory management and then i go to the shipping now so the change has been made now fine that must have been sensed by this now i'll go to the shipment now click on it and then i go there manage shipment lines and then i will now put a before over here now and that's sufficient for us to query now so make it as a before and then i will now query the order number now so order number is 217 <coughs> go there click on query search for it now it will come now for the second line i will now this is how get it and let us now go on and ship confirm now fine go there let us now this time it has to go now because pick confirmation not a pick on ship confirmation now it has no, to no, that uh, shipping method what we defined should be coming over here right not as, because we are not made as not a mandatory now fine okay. the selected ship confirmation option will unassign again fine uh, that tick mark is not still going away i don't know whether any other concurrent to be run for this now fine so no, i know no, whether right yeah have we done launch pick release that is what you are doing now fine uh, we are no, now no. bypassing it and then directly creating it actually we are bypassing it we are now going to do all the things in one go if you give a ship confirmation directly what happens it will be done all together actually so we will go there and then in this place what happens the pick release pick confirmation ship confirmation everything will go on a one ship confirmation activity sana can you try try creating the delivery again auto create shipment once again i'll not do it hey, hey, tell me where exactly i make a mistake i'm not going to stop i will not auto create the shipment now what to do now no done okay. go into the shipment now maybe let me do one thing i'm going to click on it in the bottom i will now say how much you want to ship now and the ship to quantity i'm going to mention in more the bottom one i'll now say ship to quantity so this is not required it will pick up automatically everything all the requested quantity will be shipped actually fine it is not required so something else is required for direct ship confirmation actually it is basically called pick and ship it is not working actually so let me go on then release it now i'm going to click on it i will now say pick confirmation required i will now make it now fine this place i will now go on and make it in the pick this time i'll make it and then i will now do a manual pick confirmation i will now show you how to do it now fine this automatic shipping option is there in eps also yeah yeah we have a pick and ship automatically option is available there click on it go there click on it <coughs> go there click on it i'll now go there click on it i will not go to the search and then i will not make auto pickle from manage the picking group uh, in the inventory or manage inventory or the one fine go there click on it i will not go to the manage inventory or <coughs> and then query for this or now fine d01 then enter now i will not go there go to this place click on edit now <coughs> and then i go to the next now so go there go to this place in this place i will not say pick confirmation is required now fine go there click on it and then give a save now when i launch the pick release now it will not go to stage at all it will be released to warehouse now that is not working and i'll go to the actions and i'll launch the pickles the pick release and pick confirmation are not automatic pick release will not only release the warehouse it will be releasing it to the warehouse actually. the pick release will be released so concurrent is running now it will be releasing it to the warehouse actually. right click on that you go to duplicate and then have a look at the uh, concurrent which are running now and let me on it i will now go to the scroll your tools and then go to the schedule to process now and then here you can see <coughs> so pick wave is no coming fine release pick wave is no running i like here all these things are coming we'll not see whether it goes there or not <clears throat> uh in this management client so we'll not give a 
seven close now. Under 2005, I'm not doing it now. 2005. I uh, know. Research it now. It's updated now. No. It says released to arrows. Released to arrows. Okay, it's updated. It is not released to arrows. Now we are going to do the pick confirmation manually. Now we are going to pick, do the pick confirmation manually. Right click on the duplicate. We will not do the pick confirmation manually. So you go there, click on the thing, and then I go to the inventory. So we can even go to the shipments area. Go to the shipments area. Here, what happens? The confirm picks now. It has now created a pick wave, but it is not yet confirmed. I click on confirm picks. You go there and then do it now. Confirm picks, I'm doing it. Uh, so confirm picks, I'm going to do it now. So here, the pick wave will be coming here also in the, in the main dashboard. It is now showing as an info that, that two things are to be confirmed actually. Picks to be confirmed. Is not so we will now query on the order number. Order number is what? 217 now. So 217 is my order number. I, go there. I will now remove the other fields for query now. So order number, I am querying it. I click on search now. I query on the order number. So this will be eligible for picking actually. Confirming. Pick confirming. Here, so, uh, can you see the move order number also? Move order number is not visible for me here. I don't know why. Move order number is not visible. I don't because know how to see this now. In EPS, we can see the move order mm, number. In the C. Here, the move order number is not visible. It's called movement request. I don't know where to see this now. There may be some columns, extra columns. If you add it, I think you can see it now. So, at, at what moment this uh, move order number generates when we do the pick When we do the launch pick release now. When you do the launch pick release, what happens? It creates a pick wave and then create a movement request also. Move order is movement request. And then now confirmation is manual because pick confirmation is required. Now it has come to this place. Now we are going to pick confirm. confirm. Click on the pick slip number and then we are going to confirm it. And remember, your warehouse dead access must be required. If you don't have it, you cannot have it at all. You cannot do this at all. So I, there will be multiple lines. I will now select all the things now. Man. So this will be very useful where the items are lot and serial control. We can allocate the lot number, serial number, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So that will be very useful for lot and serial control items where we can manually allocate our numbers. I will not say pick up. Now it is not lot control. No, you are putting everything. So this form will be very useful when items are lot and serial control actually. And then I go there, I go there, click on confirmation. Okay? I click on confirm and then close. No? So by which so it is. Nana, uh, the thing that you are trying to do, uh, creating a delivery and with that delivery, uh, doing the complete ship confirm yeah. without releasing, mm -hmm. that is a quick, uh, quick, quick ship feature in of course, naturally. WMS. Yeah, yeah. So I I'm wondering whether they have introduced this feature in Fusion because Fusion lock file you're saying, huh? No, in in WMS in Oracle yeah. WMS there's a feature called Quick Ship. Mm. Yeah, also, we have the enabled the Quick Ship, na? Quick Pick we have enabled on the shipping parameters. Remember, on the shipping parameter we enabled the okay. Quick Pick. So that may be allocating the numbers automatically. I think. So you're saying they have introduced that feature here in uh, Fusion? It is there. The it's a normal feature in Nebus also. No, in EBS, in EBS, you have to release it. First, uh, you, you have to release it, and you can. Uh, you also releasing is a must actually. Releasing is a must. There is no change between EBS and. You, 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 you are not doing the release feature. You are trying to create. Launch pick release. I was doing it now. There is a release actually. We go there, click on it. In the actions, I am now giving a pick release now. Fine, there is a release. In this place, we will instead of pick release. This is a release actually. Before you were trying to bypass it, you were trying to. Uh, I was doing ship confirmation, it was not working yeah, actually. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it was not working. That's a different thing. So that's a quick, <laughs> a quick ship feature in WMS. We have in, a pick and ship button in your uh, uh, transaction form in the shipping area. I can see in EBUS. You have it. Yeah, so now. The transaction form has direct everything. I mean, now we can do pick, pick yeah. and. This is also and staged, and then what happens if you go there? Now it is eligible for ship confirmation. No, no, sir. You, you are not enabled quick ship in organization parameters for this. Organization parameters is there. And we'll go and see in the organization yeah. parameters. In the managing organization, we'll go there. Quick ship, where exactly it is now? Tell me. Uh, I don't find any quick ship there. Quick pick or anything like that. Quick pick is not there in the org parameters. You enabled some uh, quick pick. Uh, the that is there in shipping parameters. In the shipping, yeah. uh, uh, in the shipping parameters, I enable the quick pick. Now. Not in the organization. Yeah, well, in the same same form, there is a quick ship also. There is one. Maybe more maybe thing. in the same form, you are saying quick ship also. Okay, fine. Maybe quick ship also. I think maybe if you enable it, that's what he's saying. We'll now go on and have a look at it. Now have a look. Shipping at it. parameter, you enable express pick. Uh, he's saying quick ship also is there. Now I'll have a look at it. Now what he's saying. Manage shipping parameters. Now. In recent releases, they have given that feature in a quick ship. 
the D zero one one entering. Express. Quick ship is also there. He's saying now. Quick, like quick, 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 quick ship is there now. But in Let me where exactly it is now. Anybody? Yeah. It, it, it's uh, below required on packing slip. In the required on packing slip, last checkbox enable quick ship. ship. Not that. Below that. Not. Nana, below that. Enable. Uh -huh. enable quick ship. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah. We, we maybe enable it. Nana. If you click on the ship confirmation, it may be going, I think, probably. If yeah, you we, enable we it. it there. Yeah, you, somebody make a try now. Yeah. If you enable it and then click on the ship confirmation button, whether it is going immediately or not. I forgot that actually something was there. Now. In EBS, we have some workflows that we can uh, directly ship. We don't want to go through shipping, uh, shipping transfer itself. We'll be directly. Now, okay. this one is now staged, and then we'll now go on and ship confirm it. Thank you. We'll not run it. We'll not if there is a lot and serial control item, where this lot number and serial number, at which stage it will be uh, picked? We will now have a look at it later on. Now, fine. We will now create an item with a lot of serial numbers, and then we will now see this now. Fine. We will now, we'll now have a look at it later. Now, during so shipping shipping confirmation now. Shipping type or during shipping time? During, during picking only, during picking yeah. only, we have to pick now. Fine, shipping is ultimate. We are going to ship it to the customers before, before picking. What happens? We have to allocate this number. Now, during pick confirm, we can allot. Uh, during pick confirm, we will allot a lot. Allot this lot and serial numbers. Now. Click yeah, on this. But in EBS, even if during shipment time, you have the option to change the serial number. Don't compare exactly on the EBS side. Now, fine. You have to live with whatever we have here now. No, no, such option is there. I just want to know because uh, maybe you just go on and explore further now. Fine. Explore further, further, and then it will be done. Now, what happens? Shipping is running. So you go there, click on it, and then right click and then duplicate now. Fine. We'll now see the send shipment advice will be running now. The send shipment advice. Okay. No, no, this is Raghu. Uh, yeah. When you can look at the first line you interface uh, to AR, how, uh -huh. do you, how do you pick control uh, for manifest, you know, until we get uh, acknowledgement from the shipment carrier that, you know, some kind of a shipment receipt? Mm -hmm. uh, so that you can put control and you know interface to AR. See, what you can do is the send shipment advice you can stop, and then that way you can do it now. Fine, if you stop it, then it will not run, and then uh, we have to enter the manifest details of the uh, carrier, and then after you have to go and then proceed to AR. Right? So this is the controlling point actually. If you don't run the ITS, then everything is under your control now. Fine, we can even stop interfacing it to AR. As such. If this is not interface to OM, it will never interface to AR at all. You you need to do that uh, using this, or you I don't know whether you're going to uh, teach in future about holds. Can you put delivery holds? Order or hold is a different one now. Fine. Shipment hold I don't know whether there is anything is or not. So here okay. you go there, you click on it, and then you now go to this place, manage ship confirmation role. <clears throat> you now go on and have a look at the manage ship confirmation role. Hey, here, do you have any exception report? Yeah, reports are there. So many reports. No, no, no pick slip, pick. Uh, Pick slip exception report like that. You can even run it along with the user specific reports can also be run now. Right? We can customize the role in such a fashion that certain users can run even uh, the customized reports also. There are so many functionalities of that. And ship confirmation, ship confirmation role now. And here go there. So click on it now. Right? Here we have the option of deferring it actually. I'm going to click on it. I don't edit anything now. I'm going to click on it. So here, if you don't put a tick mark, it will never get interface to OM at all. And then after you see AR. Then you have to run the send ship and advice manually. Then it will run. So this is the control in the ship confirmation rules. Right. That is the way you can control the manifest and other things. <clears throat> okay. Now, the final one, I am going to use it via what happens your pick wave release rule now. Fine, there's no ship. And then it got interfaced also. You go on and query, it will got interfaced. Thank you, Consulch. Where can I see my delivery details and delivery numbers? If you go inside now, if I click on this, this itself is a delivery. Fine. The ship confirmation is a delivery number now. 23005 is a delivery number only. What else you want? In the bottom, there are plenty of details of them. You just see whether all the details are okay or not. So this many details are available. Now, the third line, I'm going to use it via pick wave release rule now. Fine. The 24071, I'm not going to go via pick wave release rule. I will not cancel it now. Cancel it. And then here, I will not go there. Go to this place. Click on it. I will now go to the shipments and then I will now go to create, create pick wave now for 24007. Nah, isn't it? I'm going to so 24007, I'm going to create, create pick wave now. So yeah, click so on the create so pick wave. We will now go via. I, I we will now come to the back ordering bit later. We will now come to the back ordering bit later. D01 and then now. The release rule, I am putting it over there. So once when you put the release rule, it will now populate all the fields automatically over here now. So this is going to be shipped from this place and then on this place, whatever you go to click on show more now, click on show more. And then if there is any filtering criteria, it will not show fine. No filtering criteria at all. 
I will now go to the options here now. I click on the options. In the options, what happens? I can now make a change. So this rule has got these things set. If you want, you can make a change also. I will now go and then put the shift confirmation rule also. So now everything will now go in one go. You can see now. Everything will be going in one go. Right? The RSR, PSR, and then shift confirmation rule. Everything has been put over here now. So once when I release it, it will now release the pick wave. It will now confirm the pick wave as well as it will now perform the shift confirmation also. All the things put together together. So you can even remove it. If you remove it, shift confirmation will not take place. If you remove auto confirm picks, it will not confirm picks. You have to manually confirm like that. What happens? You can even control it. So click on release now. Fine. So I am not going to release this now. I am not using the big wave release rule now. Fine. Click on release now. Same as EBS, right? Same as EBS. Okay. There is no change at all. You must enter value for at least one of the following parameters: order, shipment, and then all these things. In this thing, it is now asking in this place. In the demand section is now asking at least this thing now. The order type is sales order. I will not put the order number as what. Well. I don't know why it's asking this. Now. Fine. This one, generic one is not allowing you now. I am not putting the. It is now asking you. Fine. Click on release now. now. So I am not going to release now. So it will be performing a release now. Fine, go there. So no. it is not done for zero picks now. Oh God, I want it for the third line now. Fine, it is not picking anything at all in this place now. How to put the line number now there? I don't know. Click on it now. Fine, go there. So I will now go to the create pick wave. It is not picking anything at all. And these are the ones in the tab now. <clears throat> Do we need to give sub inventory that uh, pick from? Please order us. And then I will now put the two one seven now. Fine, because only one line is not picked now. It's now coming. How to Do only for that line actually. Only one line. It may be for the entire order or what. Subinvent is not a good. From where it is going to pick, it's not a good. No, no. None. It will take only one line because it will check always. It will check the release status oh, in uh -huh. the places. That That's is what it's not giving. Ah. Huh? So if I want to have only the third line, we cannot use this rule. Ah. Huh? No, no, no. We can use it. We can use it. How do you can? We can enter the shipment. Uh, yeah, how to line? The, how to put the line number now? Line number anywhere I can put now. उटन <laughs> I will now say auto confirm picks as well as the ship confirmation tool also. I will now put it now. Once when you put it, this field has to be enabled now. Ah, it's not coming. Why it's so? Auto confirm pick is there, but I want to ship confirm also together. This is no in now enabled, not enabled at all. Come on, what is the thing? Because I get a specific ship point number. I think that is going to pick use with them. Fine, click on release now. We will now see whether all the things are happening in one go or not. Fine, click on release now now. So I will now give the ship point number also. Fine, now one pick has got selected actually. Right. So the pick wave number is this now three two zero three two three two zero two zero is one fine I will not take copy now it is now released it we will now see whether it is now shipping or not I will go to this place it's called I will now go and then see what's called the monitor process now it has to run the send shipment address also we will now see it. the pick release document is now waiting now and then the send shipment address also has to run now that is my expectation now pick release document is now running no. रनिंग So that is it. What happens? It is only picked and then does not ship because what happens in the inventory or we have a pick confirmation required now. But a pick release has been done, so it is not confirming it actually. Fine, go that you want. We will now go and make again a search now. Fine, click on search now. The two and so on. We will now search on the pick confirmation. It is re released to warehouse. It is released to warehouse now. Fine, go that. So here, if we put the order number, it is not coming. If we go and then click on this now. Fine, go that. Organization. I will now put D zero one one and then make a search on this now. Fine, there is a go here now. Fine, click on this now. I will now give a go now. So I'm going to give a go. It has to show me. It is now released to warehouse now actually. No, no, no. You won't get here. I think. Hmm. If it is released to warehouse, it has to come over here now. It is not released to warehouse at all. We'll now go on and see on that. Uh, what's called your managed shipment lines now. You, you can see in the managed shipment line because it's already ship confirm, uh, pick confirmed. Okay, we'll now see this managed shipment lines. We'll now have a look at it now. My inventory management. We'll go there. 
And maybe the nine word pick confirmed. Yeah, yeah, pick slip is already pick confirmed, so it should be there in the manage shipment lines. Before yes, 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 yes. Uh, go there, and then and the shipment order number is two one seven now. Two one seven, and then click on search now. We are searching for it. You now see the third line. This one, and yeah. it's staged. It's only staged. It's not pick confirmed also, but it is not shipped actually. I don't know why it's so. Uh, we are unable to give the ship confirmation on the area. You see, that was grayed out. So had we given the ship confirmation rule, it will also got shipped out. So somebody make an R and D. How to do via pick wave release yeah. rule a particular shipment number up to shipping fully? No, no, no. I think I believe uh, we need to, first we should not do this auto sh auto create shipment. Okay. Uh, so once the sales order line is created, it's an awaiting shipping. Don't assign this delivery to here directly. Uh, by picking uh, picking screen directly assign the rule and you can oh, that rule will the rules. shipment also it will uh, the shipment automatically the rule will create a shipment ah, ha, ha. and that will pick i believe okay maybe so i'm not uh, very conversant on this area what normu is saying is that don't create a shipment and then go over there the system will be getting a shipment number at the time what happens it may even ship confirm also that's what he is right no no he is right, right absolutely right so whenever you want to create a pick wave pick confirm so you should follow a similar way, not okay. going to the shipment okay. creation. Not, do not get a shipment number and then go there. It would be no. Yeah, but it's not number. allowed, right? Uh, ship without shipment and shipment line. Right. But there the shipment number, the order the line number, right? not, so how uh, will you control lines? The, the thing, no. Sorry? Without a, a ship, with a shipment number, it there is it not didn't allow us to select the... Tell me. Tell me. So that is what it is fine. Now go on and dig, dig deep into this now. Fine. We now learn the basics of shipping now. So you can now go into it and then how to unassign and assign to a delivery. Unassigning and assigning to a delivery. We can very well do it. Now. Fine. We'll now have a look at it later. On. Fine. We'll now have a detailed discussion on shipping area also. So other time we'll not discuss on this. One. So two one seven. Press your buttons in the shipping form. Assign and assign. Yeah, yeah, unassign, assign. Everything is there. Whatever we have in eBay, every facility is available. So is awaiting billing. We'll not do it. So whenever anybody uh, reaches the status of what billing error, when you're doing it manually, it will be coming as a billing error actually. I will not teach how to set up AR manually. Now the uh, what's called your uh, uh, what's called your uh, the thing uh, that uh, rapid implementation has automatically set the AR also. That is why you are not, it is not getting go to it is not ready for interface. See, uh, uh, Nana, it's shipped. You can see. Oh, it is shipped also. Yeah, 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 it's shipped also. This is good, good. good line status. You know, uh, ship afterwards only awaiting billing will come. Yes. Yeah. After ship, it will be going to awaiting billing. Yeah, you don't want awaiting billing. So now the ship send shipment is run. Yeah, yeah. Check. Now I have run it manually now. The ship confirmation, I run it manually for the third line. I run it manually. Yes. This, yes. The or pick wave release rule didn't run at all. It has only no. staged it. I only yeah. ran it manually. Ah, uh, then fine. That's it. This is an introduction to shipping now. Fine. You go dig, dig, dig and then make a deep analysis on this now. So I've given you an idea about how all these things are working together actually. <clears throat> it's again a big topic and then it's a very complex topic actually. So you have to concentrate on doing it now. And whenever exactly. you are, who are doing it in a manual manner, if you are reached with a billing error instead of awaiting billing, please tell me. I will now log in into your system and then I will now set up your AR for you. Item cross references, uh, you know, uh, in EBS, uh, in inventory, we had item cross references. Yeah. So we, over here also, I guess we can do it from PIM module. We have spoken. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Tab. In module, I'm not sure about it, but the pure inventory is not available. Item, item coming from the external system. The cross reference is working for substitution, basically. Substitution, I've checked it, but upsells, cross sells, everything is not working at all. Okay. Substitution is working. I have said it. Master, uh, how is the data flow uh, between the modules uh, like from order management to inventory in EBS? Uh, uh, it goes to in interface and then we have some yeah, validation. It's also there. a similar concept, man. I'm not sure about how the flow no, no, takes no. place now. It's a similar, it's a similar, same. The flow is same. So we can check the, uh, you know, if any record is stuck in the interface with some errors. So that yeah, yeah, yeah. We can check this. See, uh, in order management, if you're awaiting shipping, you can check in the WSS delivery details table, uh, it is, uh, what is the status it is, serenity release or not, and there is, from there you can check and you can perform the action out there. Yes, and there other than, a, uh, 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 other than o, OM to AR, there is an interface in AR, you can check over there. One question, uh, from yeah, other, yeah. Than, other than shipping table, uh, other table is renamed as a OOD, right? 
other than OE. Yeah, it's a it's a do order headers. Yeah, do order headers. Okay. So uh, you check uh, from the back end or uh, front end? You back end, back end. Back end, back end, back end. Do order headers. So WSS delivery details is the same table. Uh, so you can check it in inventory also you can check the inventory interface uh, either if it is got stuck in interface either you can check the MM, MMTT table that is like the pending transaction you can check either somehow some sales order issue is stuck with a negative balance error so you can check from do and you not have any uh, form like EBS which yeah, yeah pending transaction uh, interface form uh, you know inventory there is no interface in inventory also Am I right? Well, you you have the pending transaction. Yeah, pending form. transaction form we have right now. We pending have transaction, transaction open interface. And you have MMTT also. So MMTT is yeah, yeah. MMTT, MMTT. MMTT we have in cloud, but MTL interface uh, errors table that is MTL interface you have to go to the backend. But MMTT we have at the same time same time air also there is an open interface you can check the air open interface also transaction yeah. interface. Ramu. For running SQLs, it is still OTBI, or do you have any SQL Connect or better, uh, better application? No, 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 no. It's a OTBI. It's only OTBI. I, yeah. Some of the third party tools are connecting with 20 A onwards. I'm I think not. we are. Do you, do you know anything uh, that is that is good, uh, Ragwa? Yes, yes, I think Erlite people are using some connectivity directly uh, querying, and they are using like a toad operations. Toad. Yeah, that. that's fine. I think that is fine. Yeah, actually, we are uh, using a tool where we can see the backend. Which one? Wait, what is that, Jagdish? Uh, I forgot the name uh, because I'm still working in EBS only, not cloud. Maybe I'll, I'll look and I'll let you know. But it's it's SaaS, no? not PaaS, right? Yes, SaaS, SaaS, SaaS only. SaaS only. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, then that is a great. Usually, if it's a toward connection like this. Uh, we have already ship confirmed the material, right? Uh, over, uh, over over here in cloud, uh, where can we see this costing information in MMT tables? Can we can can we check it somewhere? I think there is a review view. Cox transaction screen is there. Are you saying Cox account is a yeah? Cox, Cox account receivables. Uh, yes, all those re receivables will all definitely come afterwards. I'm I'm concerned about co Cox uh, account. You can you can see in review completed transactions where you can uh, form. No, here accounting will not show at all. Right? In uh, supply chain, it will not. You're not seeing accounting at all. I think we have to put the cost management. The cost management. And in when EBS, in EBS, uh, in EBS uh, you know, this Cox was. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's available there. Yeah. Cox account can be seen in EBS, but here it is. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if we want to set it here, how to do it? That's what I was asking to two sessions before how to control that segment value. You know, it, it, I mean, I'm, I'm not so sure over here. Mm -hmm. I try to, you know. Why don't you talk to uh, your cost, cost, cost account? Account. Not, You'll be teaching you all these things. Nana sir, this rest, uh, this rest services, right? So for that we need to have a pass license. Uh, no, 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 the SaaS no, no. license you can very well run it. This can be run. Okay, okay. I think for the earlier question we had to do a page custom rules, uh, cost of goods segment rules, validations and everything. From cost management to F H and from M H A to SLA, it's a kind of S L A customization. Okay. So it's but not then, uh, a standard thing, thing anymore in cloud then. But, uh, we cannot do with the order management, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, with order management, there is no workflow modifications and all things. This It's a process only. And one last thing, I mean, in EBS, you know, uh, auto accounting rule, we used to derive all these receivables uh, and... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, the rapid implementation is already set. I will not show you tomorrow. On Monday, I will not show you. Yeah. All the accounts are automatically set out. We'll be seeing... Uh, sir, uh, sir, one one question. Are, we are going to begin now on Monday. One question: In future, they are going to implement trip stops and uh, trips and drops. And... There is any plan or not? Because it, 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 trips and stops any... are not there as such. No fine. I don't know any any plan is there for Oracle or not? No, they would have moved to OTM cloud. Uh... Maybe yeah, yeah. OTM cloud. They might have moved it. Up. They might have moved to but, OTM cloud. Actually. But everybody, uh, no, no, WMS and uh, OTM and everything integration is very tough, right? Based mm -hmm. on the all. This. Account derivation rule, it is uh, uh, possible here also in fusion, right? Account? Alliance. Account derivation rules. Account yes, derivation. Yeah, that. Derivation. Yeah, okay. It is, yeah. Good, then we are now learn the basics of shipping and then you dig deep into it and then uh, explore about how it's behaving. And then uh, if you are finding anything new, please uh, inform all of us now.
so that we'll also learn from your exercises actually so we are now completed shipping part and then on monday we are going to begin pushing it into ar actually the ar setups we are going to begin on monday now fine so try to complete up to awaiting billing now fine those who are doing the manual one you'll be getting a billing error so at the time you inform me i will now conduct a training for all of you of how to set up ar manually bye for now thank you thanks anand bye thanks thank you